वेलकम बैक टू सी फॉर एस क्लास टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग टॉपिक दैट इज मॉनिटरी ट्रांसमिशन स्टूडेंट सो बिफोर गोइंग इन टू डिटेल्स लेट्स डिस्कस व्हाट इज मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी दैट करंटली आरबीआई इज फॉलो सो करंटली आरबीआई फॉलोज फ्लेक्सिबल inflation targeting so here inflation target is kept at 4 plus minus so this target is decided with the uh, central government and rb This target is decided uh, in a meeting with central government and RBI officials. Okay. And a monetary policy committee is required to determine the policy rate. In this case, the repo rate. which helps in achieving the inflation target check that right so what is monetary transmission theory so it encompasses the process through which changes in monetary policy instruments such as money aggregates or short term policy interest rates back the rest of the economy particularly output and input okay so basically what is happening at the rbi level they are changing some policy rates and due to changes in this policy rate overall functioning of the economy may depend because this policy rate will be trickling down and change financial parameters of the other variables in the economy all right so let's see how monetary policy actions are transmitted to the rest of the economy so here there are two mediums first is the financial prices second is the financial so financial prices is what interest rates exchange rates yields asset prices equity prices what does this mean when policy rates are changed these policy rates influence the prevailing interest rates exchange rates of the currency yields asset prices as well as the equity prices in the financial markets at the same time these policy rates also influence the money supply in the economy credit aggregates that means how much loans that the banks are giving out supply of government bonds and foreign denominated assets so let's take some example to understand this point so we know the change in interest rate as depends on what or interest rate change may have a impact on our spending as well as expenditure or investment we have here okay so it is the belief or the belief of the monetary policy system is that whenever interest rates are being influenced they may impact in spending 
for the investment behavior in the economy. So, if there are high real interest rates, that would mean it would effectively what it will do is when high interest rates are there, so our disposable income, disposable income will get reduced. That means the consumption of the economy will be reduced. Or in other ways, we can say that when interest rate increases, our savings increases. Savings of households. Because they would feel instead of spending their money they can invest because interest rates are currently high in the market. So they may get more gains. And at the same time, when the savings of households are increasing, the profits <laughs> of firms are decreasing. Now profits of firms are decreasing because cost of borrowing has increased due to high interest rates. Okay. And now that the cost of borrowing has increased, this would make investments in the economy less attractive. All right. Similarly, one more case can be there that whenever interest rates are high, when policy rates are high, our consumption as well as investment are low, as we discussed it here. Now, as consumption and investments are low, this would impact the overall output in the economy. That would mean the output in the economy will become low. And as the output in the economy is low due to less demand, this would immediately result in, result in decrease of prices. Okay. So that means when interest rates are high to control inflation, so it indirectly impacts in the decrease of prices because the cost of borrowing has increased and industries would be pro producing less and the output will be low that would lead to lower prices. Another thing that would happen is, let's suppose if policy rates becomes high, so inflow of FPIs will increase because they may they might find investment in our domestic assets attractive, right? So as the inflow of FPIs increase, this would lead to appreciation of domestic currency. Okay, domestic currency. Now, as the domestic currency is being appreciated, that means our imports will become cheaper. All right. Now, what will this do is, as the currency is being appreciated, our export competitiveness will decrease. So that means exports will become costly. Now next comes the term, next comes the interest rate through term. Okay. So it is the degree and the speed with which the variations in monetary policy stance is passed on to the interest rate spectrum 
of the economy. That means if we have changed the policy rates, so increase or decrease the policy rates, so how fast they are being converted into other variables, other economic variables in the economy. And what these economic variables are? These economic variables are the interest rates prevailing, exchange rates, yields, asset prices, equity prices. And others are money supply, aggregates, credit aggregates, supply of government bonds, and foreign domestic, foreign denominated. Okay. So if there is high interest rate passed through, that would mean changes in policy rate would have a large effect on lending rates. And if it, it is low, that means our lending rates will take more time with changes in policy rates. All right. Now we will be discussing the factors influencing interest rate for pass through. So the factors are structure of the financial system such as the regulations that are being prevailed in the economy as well as the interest rate ceilings. Second one is the degree of competition between financial and intermediaries. That means if few banks are there then the competition would be less as opposed to if economy has more com more competition that means more interest rate pass through can be seen okay usage of variable rate products next is portfolio substitution response to the policy rate and the other factor is transparency of monetary policy options now we will be talking about the rigidities in commercial interest rate structure that means Whenever policy rate change, how come our commercial rate from commercial interest rates in the banks takes more time in changing as per the policy rate changes? So there are certain factors that impact the quick change of banks policy rates or bank interest rates with changes in the policy rates done by the MPC Monetary Policy Committee. So these factors are high average cost of deposits for banks in one is long term deposits at fixed interest rates limiting flexibility next one is high interest rates on competing savings instruments so these competing savings instruments can be the small savings instruments that government launches ensuring higher interest so they becomes a competing savings instrument okay fourth one is high overhang of npas that means if npas are more then banks are less uh, banks are less prone to changes in the uh, policy rate changes in the interest rates with changes in the policy rates next one is legal constraints and procedural bottlenecks in recovering dues and the other one is large government borrowing programs providing significant prospects for delaying funds in sovereign paper. So now we have discussed how monetary policy transmission is taking place in the economy and why do, when changes in policy rates occur, it takes time in the uh, changing of interest rates and other asset prices of the economy. So that's all for today's session. Thank you and have a nice day.